Welcome back Druids. This video is going to teach you how to use the Druid movement tech to your advantage. This video is part of a Druid masterclass and if you haven't seen the basics video that's seen on screen now, check the description after this video to see all the other guides out there related to Druid. Let's start with the basics. First we're going to jump through a door window. To get started, open your menu and highlight rat. Walk up to the door and when you're ready to release, release the menu and then jump. It's counterintuitive most people looking at this will think that you jump and then release the menu to turn into a rat in midair, and that's wrong. You release the menu first and then instantly jump. This will make your window hopping a thousand times more reliable. Next, we're going to do the panther chicken dash. Some people call this the poshy pounce. I prefer the daddy apex arch druid 3000, but you know, semantics. First, we're going to transform into a panther and highlight the chicken in the menu just like we did for the rat jump. Now repeat after me, jump, dash, release, jump, jump. Practice this anytime the dash is off cooldown. Repetition is key here, and eventually you'll start doing this in combat as muscle memory. You can mix this up by adding an additional transformation at the end of the process into whatever the situation calls for, whether it be bear, human, or even back into rat or panther. Next up, we have a tip for attacking as a bear. Simply put, jump, as a panther or even as a rat and then transform just like you would jump with a melee weapon before you attack to maintain that movement speed momentum it is good practice to jump and then transform and attack in druid form as well it's a little bit more complex than doing it with a melee weapon but it has huge benefits with that concept in mind it is always just good practice to jump before you transform anyways this brings your body off the ground gets you away from tiny rocks and other things that would block your transformation and helps you stay away from that dreaded failed to transform issue that plagues so many of our brothers really quickly i wanted to just show you guys a few spots you can go to as a rat that give you a big advantage in combat that many people may not think about. One being jail cell walls, you can rat through these, you can rat through the little crawl spaces without having to break the wood on one side or even both sides, and you can run at full speed as a chicken in there as well. There's a whole bunch of little tiny gaps and crevices and cracks that you can go through, and as you play Druid, you should be paying attention to these. The best way to learn these is either one, Go to my Rat Master class that's linked in the description for a bunch more. Or two, pull up a VOD of somebody like Skjold, who's just really, really good at Druid, and just watch a VOD or two of him going through a regular map routine, and you'll probably pick up at least one or two spots in a single VOD. Lastly, a really nice spot for chicken ambushes is on the top of door frames. Getting on the top of door frames, especially in Crypts, is very easy. All you do is go into Panther, jump, transform into chicken, double jump after that. And then sometimes it helps to crouch at the top of your jump to just get up into the gap there, but most of the time you don't actually need to. That covers it for Druid Movement Tech, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, super thanks and super chats and comments and all that are always very appreciated. Remember to check the description for more lessons and content. See you in the dungeon.